At this point, not too many are like you, willing to isolate from the technogrid, from the soup. They wander about in it constantly, from home to office, in cars, and even while walking, carrying their electronic tools about with them always. They are never alone with me, except perhaps when they sleep. And you, my child, made it even hard for me to reach you this way even in sleep. You would keep the internet on, the computer on as well while you slept. Thus, though the internet was your one folly, your one indulgence in the grid, you let it quite blanket you, even in sleep. I am so glad, so joyous, to be reaching you now this way. Long have I yearned toward this day when I knew we would finally, yes, finally, directly communicate. Yes, we've books to write and communications to offer as part of our service to the, we to the world. But so much more than that, my daughter, is the service you offer just by being you, by raising your frequencies, and by being that transducer you were writing about only moments ago, your Rainbow Bridge piece. I like that one. Yes, I helped you write it. Ah, Teresa Ann. Yes, our communications will prove themselves. Others will eventually see and sense their source. Some right from the first. These are the sensitive ones, the ones who are alert and awake, even in the midst of the miasma. These are the courageous souls, the empaths, and those with courage to suffer just to stay open, not shut down. Worry not, be not concerned about who will be reached, my child. That's my job, yours to both write and to be, for, by your being, by your radiation, all are blessed, barring none. You are my rainbow bridge, beloved Teresa Ann, and I love you so. <sighs> Parenthetically, I've said, my hands froze over the keys while inside me and strongly, repeatedly, I was hearing the words and never forget, and never forget, and never forget. Now things are changing inside me. The energy is shifting somehow. This presence is powerful, commanding. It just knows, and it does, with me being its anchor to the earth, tool, in its great hand. Um, there follows a, uh, a recitation of the feelings of all that was happening in my form and one day I'll find an energy worker who understands meridians and so on and can explain it to me. I'll, I'll read just a tiny bit and then I'll move on. It is shifting and changing within, reshaping itself, expanding, moving here and there directionally in my form Though the heart heats up, remains its center, source, and heat of it. Solar plexus heating up now and with the abdomen, hotter still, expanding out, occupying full space. Heavy, powerful presence expanding out, encompassing more of the form, the aura, the energy. Strong, heavy presence, pregnant with power, a vastness compressed. Ah, it's making adjustments to the energy force field, necessary and beneficial to our converse communication. It's not totally comfortable, but oh, how I welcome it, nonetheless. And then it began going here and there and all over the body. I won't bore you with that. It's, it's interesting, but you know, it doesn't need to be here. Okay. Um, and it went on for a long time. Okay, 
All right, picking up towards the end. Mouth waters still. Tongue tingles somewhat less, though still at the tip I can feel it. Shoulders relaxing again. Palm heels back resting on lap desk as relaxation passes through. <laughs> now buttocks sing with this passing of energy through. How funny that poem flows as this energy passes through. Oh well, I don't care. Just recording what's happening and how it feels too. This is probably enough, though it's continuing still. Yet, I've got here a good bit of happenings. Enough fits the bill. Yet, for who knows what purpose, I've recorded this here. May have to break and scratch left palm, feeling the itch so strongly still. There, I had to give in to it, so scratch it I did. Now my nose feel it, toes feel it, but feeling it still. What a marvelous sensation. All this energy, it thrills. It's passing, is classing up the joint, making it fit. For passing of source energy, communication to come through. For in passing, it's blessing me, readying me till I'll be new, made over, and ready to serve. Better able to handle the currents that serve to pass for communication between my source and me. Front teeth feeling it still, how funny this energy. Twill be quite fun to see from our side what passes right through me as source fits the fills the bill, making me over, quite fixing the lot as it passes o'er me and through me, no part being forgot. For I've a high calling, just as have we all, but mine it requires this to answer the call to be a fine vessel for handling source, to let flow this energy straight from the source. Calves nose, now they tingle, and tongue joins the thrill, as energy courses still flows through, remaking me still. Twill be fine undertaking to see what comes out, discover what changes that source brought about. In this temple I'm wearing as I wander 3D, Passing through life that's so important to me. But service I'll render, I've surrendered the rest. So to be useful, delightful, in hands of the best. Our best, our high father, our heavenly king. For on earth we reign, but within us he's king. He's the king, queen of castle, he wrought, fit the bill for habitation of his sons, his daughters, until the time for our passing out of 3D arrives. Then we'll take forms, remake them, and rise to the skies. Skies of higher vibrations as we trill up the scales. No longer need lower notes, our symphonies rise. Up into skies, into the skies, as we all rise and sing the high notes. Okay, this one's just destined to be a little longer. I came back through it later uh, and, and wrote this. Though it was fun to record the passing of that energy through, it was not necessary to the action it brought. This action continues still. I sense it passing through, stimulating the form now here, now there. The nice thing, though, is that it doesn't require my attention nor presence to do its work. The energy of Source or God is like that. It works on its own, quite unattended. It can be trusted that way, just to bring its blessings, whatever they are. Now, this wasn't perhaps one of, or even the most special, particular blessing this form has ever received. I don't mean to minimize what's happening here. I not only have quite high hopes for it, I have high knowing its blessings will be long and far-reaching. It's just that Source or God doesn't require our obeisance to do and be Source. Source just naturally brings blessings, just as the sun naturally shines just as we naturally desire to be the fount of endless blessings as well. It is all just simply built right into creation, which goes from glorious to more glorious to gloriouser still. 
there's no end in sight to it, goes on quite endlessly. It does that and brings blessings quite endlessly. We are both benefactors and beneficiaries as well. The glorious loop flows through us brings glory still. Quite endless the glory that passes through you. So set will intent to do whate'er you will. For you'll find it happen whatever you will. It comes out, it happens when you are faithful still. Goes glorious to glorious to glorious or still. If faithful you be, then you'll see what light glorious can be. It'll come moving o'er you, twill take by surprise. It will fill you and thrill you too, when in heart you abide. Amen.